Libras, it's Amanda here with your June 2017 rune scope. Uh, as always, I will be using the runes in conjunction with the tarot, and this month I will be using the beautiful Tarot Art Nouveau Premium Edition. Uh, this deck is by Lunea Weatherstone and the wonderful Antonella Castelli, who is apparently always working on tarot decks. She's done so many, uh, many of which I own. Uh, as always, when this reading is over, be sure to join me over on Vimeo for part two on my channel over there because I'm gonna pull one card from the Animal Messages deck. And this one's by Susie Green. Join me over there for your spiritual guidance portion. The link to my Vimeo channel is below. Just click or tap show more under the video or just click or tap that little arrow. It's different depending on which device you're on. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Do be sure to subscribe because that way my videos each month will uh, come up in your feed and you won't have to go looking for me. Now, because we are partway through the year, we're here in the middle of 2017. I can't believe it already. Seems to have flown by in some ways. In other ways, it's been endless. Isn't it weird how that happens? But anyway, uh, now could be a good time to review the yearly overview that I posted for you at the beginning of 2017. If you wanna rewatch it, just click or tap the little I little info button here in the video because you can kind of see where you're at in the year, what's happened, what's what uh, still hasn't happened, kind of gauge where you're at. Same is true for the love readings for, that I posted over on Vimeo and the career readings. Both of those are over on my Vimeo channel. Uh, I posted them at the beginning of 2017 as well. So yeah, you can kind of see where you're at with those and what you're still waiting on. Now, next month, I will be posting over on Vimeo a mid-year check-in. That's going to cover July through December of 2017, just to give kind of a long-range view, see what we're all in for here. So, definitely subscribe, or you might forget, and I don't want you to miss that, because it can provide a lot of pertinent information for you there, Libra. So, let's jump in, though, to June. I'm going to change our focus to June for Libra. June 2017. What do my Libras need to know? Rune? Which runes want to talk to Libra? June 2017, there it is. Now keep in mind, Libra, as always, these are free sample, if you will, general readings. Uh, so not all messages will apply to you. Some messages will be for other Libras that are watching. If you would like something far more specific, do schedule a private consultation with me. Uh, just drop me a line at my email address. It's in the video and also below the video. To set up an appointment, I do those on Skype and they are $70 and we can get some specific guidance for you regarding whatever your particular circumstances may be. I'm happy to do that for you. But in general, with my Libras, what do we got here? June, June. Well, many of you are waiting on a person. Your challenge or focus is coming up as a page of cups. We're waiting on a message. Uh, and this could be an emotional message, usually with uh, the cups people. So this could be a person. It could be a water sign person, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, that you are interested in. Maybe you sent them a message, or you're waiting on them to declare their interest, or you're waiting on them to ask you on a date. Because there's some element of Dayug here indicating like there's gonna be a transformation with this, but it's gradual. I feel like some of you may be in a friendship with this person and you are, maybe you're crushing on them and you're kind of waiting on them to notice or make a move in a romantic direction. That's one way this can work. Um, now for some of you, this could be a child. It could be a water sign child because the pages are usually younger energy or new energy. So this could be a water sign child that you are, um, this may be a very enlightened child. And when I say enlightened, I mean spiritually. Like a lot of the things that they say may be very just, one of those things where you're like, well, where did you get that from? It may be very psychic child. Or they may, they, a lot of spiritual messages for you and others may be coming through this child. Some of you may be getting news of a pregnancy. You may be trying to get pregnant and uh, June may be a month where you're focusing <laughs> your efforts on that. But yeah, I kind of feel like this could be an announcement of a birth that someone, you or someone else has been waiting for or really, really 
wanting this to happen. But this is about manifestation. So, or waiting on someone to ask you to marry them, or maybe you've been trying to figure out when you're gonna ask someone to marry you. So there could be, yeah, news coming, or news that you're waiting on, or news that you're waiting on manifesting or creating yourself of a relationship going to the next level, uh, of declaring your love or love being declared for you, Libra. And uh, if it's not coming in June, it may be coming uh, definitely in the summertime because June also marks the start of summer here in the Northern Hemisphere, the official start, which is the 20th or 21st. I think it switches a little bit each year, but that's the official date of summer. So those of you that are waiting, this could be indicating with the, with the sun rune here that it comes after that date, after the 20th or 21st of June, or between June 21 and, and September 21. Again, these are general readings. Check out your rising sign. Or, or uh, if you're getting ready to make a big decision, it may be time for a consultation. I can really help you narrow down when the best time would be to try to get pregnant, to uh, declare your feelings to someone. So definitely get in touch with me. But yeah, the magician is here and you're present. So you are manifesting. Okay, so I feel like the, the present energy in these general readings would be end of May moving into June. So it, it's like you've already, many of you manifested this, but you, you don't know it. So some of you are pregnant and you don't know it, or you've gotten someone pregnant and you don't know it. But for those of you that are getting someone pregnant, I feel like you've been working on this. It's like been a project. If not, surprise. But <laughs> I feel like for many of you, this is like, no, you know, we're married or we're, we're coupled and we've been trying to, to you know, make this happen. Um, and maybe you've had some disappointments, some miscarriages, maybe someone's had difficulty with reproductive health, or maybe we're told they would never have kids, or maybe that they were too old to have kids, but now you're, you're working on this. And um, there is an energy of uh, maybe newness also with this, an untried approach or a new method that is gonna make this a reality for you, Libra. So yeah, I mean, you could have some people advising you against this, like, oh, it's too risky, or you know, maybe a doctor saying pregnancy at your age would be too risky, or pregnancy with this, uh, with this condition that you have would be too risky. But I feel like there may be a new person, kind of a new rock star, a new doctor, or a new method. Maybe not new to the medical community, but new to you. Maybe it's the first that you're hearing of it that is going to be the key to manifesting this if you have had any difficulties. But for some of you, I just feel like maybe there was a miscarriage before, or maybe you didn't think you could get pregnant, and voila. Because I feel like many of you moving into June, you are pregnant. You just don't know it yet. It just hasn't been revealed yet. Um... Some of you may be giving birth in June. Now, if this is not a child, this is a relationship. This is the manifestation of a brand new energy, but it's you bringing it about, Libra, because again, the magician is about, you have all the tools you need to make this happen. You have all the tools you need to manifest this. But yeah, others may be advising against it. They may be saying, hey, you know, don't rush into anything. Um, they may just feel like you are being too vulnerable or taking a big risk here. And with pregnancy, I don't think so. I feel like it's gonna turn out. If it's something else though, we'll see as we move along. Um, I feel like though you're very driven to do this, you know it's what's gonna bring you joy, whether it's proposing to someone or declaring your feelings, but we'll see what the advice is here. Um, the help that's going to be available to you, you have uh, Nine of Swords. So in the help position, I feel like you're going to allay the fears or worries of whoever this is. For some of you, maybe it's a mother or a mother-in-law. Um, maybe they were the ones saying, oh, you know, there's this risk and that risk. And really, you know, definitely maybe it was coming from a place of concern, but maybe there's going to be... Um, the excitement of expanding the family or adding a new member to the family, whether through marriage or, or birth or, um, you know, something of that nature is going to bring about, um, you know, allaying this person's fears. They're, they're just going to totally invest in the joy or invest in the yeah happiness of this. 
Now for others of you, I feel like there's someone trying to, uh, yeah, just kind of, um, how do I want to say this? Or how are they saying this to me? Someone is trying to impede your joy flow. And that's not my words. That's coming from spirit. And I feel like for many of you, it is a manipulative female energy, not necessarily a woman. It could be a more feminine male, but yeah, an energy of just trying to really kind of block you. And that's the same thing with this or trying to cause worry. So this could be um, an ex-partner, an ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, an ex-family member, um, someone who's trying to rain on your parade, essentially. And I, but I don't. I feel like you are gonna. The joy is gonna be so overwhelming. You're not gonna pay this person any mind. But for some of you, maybe other family members are gonna block this person from the news or just kind of protect you, shield you in some way from this person's negativity. And uh, for many of you, maybe this is someone that you were with before that didn't want a family or that, you know, you, you or like really wanted to start a family with you, but because they were so negative, you got away from them. And now you're starting a family with a new partner or you're marrying a new partner or you're in couple you're coupled with a new partner and it's really just gut sticking in this person's craw. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, don't, uh, if there's no one else shielding you from that kind of negativity, you know, don't, uh, don't let anyone's negative views, opinions, no matter who they are, don't let that encroach on your joy or your, like from what you're trying to manifest because, uh, but yes, I mean, if you are moving too quickly into something, that may be something to think about. It's always good advice to kind of just, you know, any, cause, because anything worth having, it's not, or anyone worth having, they're not gonna disappear overnight, right? No matter how long, I mean, it, you know, they're gonna be there. So it's always kind of good to listen to other people's advice and insight and decide if you can use it. Um, because when we rush into things, it's too often that that's where we, you know, screw it up. So especially big commitments and big steps like having children, getting married, um, moving. Because some of you, I feel like there may be like you're moving in together because we've got Ophila here. Or you may be moving in with family. Um, Cause there's something going on with your domestic situation. But yeah, you may be uh, deciding to move in together or looking at property to purchase together. And uh, for some of you, you may be a little worried about that but uh or maybe your partner is or or you know because i i am seeing some, some issues around real estate and just being worried being stressed out being concerned i feel like one of you is and the other isn't it'll be different for all of you who it is whether it's you or your partner or your roommate or you know family members that you're moving with um may be concerned about it but i feel like these are all just kind of like um the scenarios that are not real because the nine of swords is all about fears that we create or phobias or elusive actually illusionary fears is what I, I meant to say they're not real they're just things we build up in our head or create in our head that creates blocks for us mental blocks so if there's any fear around property or or moving in with someone i i feel like the advice is to not let that stop you or not let someone who's trying to kind of put those fears in your head stop you from moving forward. What must be accepted? I've got the death card in reverse. So this is just saying, you know, some uh, people that have always been troublemakers, lazy, people we couldn't depend on, people who never delivered what they said they were going to deliver, they don't live up to their promises, they don't live up to your expectations. Those people are the same people. There's going to be no surprises here. <laughs> but um, Yara is here indicating that, you know, you may be noticing that because this person refuses to change their ways, seek help or, or seek to better themselves so that they're operating from their higher self and treating people in a certain way, uh, because they refuse to do that stubbornly and cling to their old ways, justice is being served here with Yara. They're getting karmic justice. They're getting legal justice. Um, 
this could be someone reaching out for you to help them also this troublesome person or this person kind of trying to rain on your parade they may be reaching out with a sob story trying to get you to help them out of a jam and you're like you know i don't it serves you right you've brought this on yourself with your silly decisions and um making promises you can't keep and jumping into things you're not ready for and not getting the help that you needed ages ago i you know um the levels of nasty, I'm seeing like a range here. So for some of you, it's just this annoying person. For some of you, it's just someone who's lazy. I mean, we all have one of those in every family, right? Or, or you know, every friendship, has, you know, friend group has someone who's just like, oh, they never show up on time. They always say they're gonna be there and then flake out. Whoever this is that has disappointed you in the past or outright just been a negative, bad, yucky, awful person. That's the level we're going up to. Again, it's a range. It'll be different for all of you. That person will be getting karmic justice. It's not your responsibility to help this person anymore. I feel like it, it's just taking real audacity for them to reach out to you in the first place. They shouldn't even be doing that. They have no right to put their problems on you. So don't take it on. Block it. Don't answer the message or block them. Because this can be a literal blocking someone. Block them on Facebook. Block them on Twitter. All your social stuff so that they can't get in touch with you, block their number, block, 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 yuckies. Block the yuckies in June, Libra. I should put that in the title thing. Block the yuckies, maybe I will. Hmm, I'll think about it. Outcome. Three of rods in reverse. So, with, uh, coupled with Canis and Gifus, beautiful runes for, um, pregnancy, birth, new beginnings, new relationships, taking a relationship to the next level. With the three of rods in reverse though, that is saying that, um, yeah, there's something that you no longer have to wait for by the end of June. So I do think whoever, if you're waiting to declare your feelings or you're waiting on someone to declare their feelings, again, past that it seems like it's fair game anytime we get past that June 20, 21st time frame right there. So you might want to circle that on your calendar. And definitely, be, you know, all summer between June uh, 20th or 21st and September 20th or 21st, there's a, there's a development of significant, uh, substantial development when it comes to children, pregnancy, relationships, marriage, partnerships. There's a new beginning here with a relationship or moving it to the next level, solidifying it. For those of you that are single, there could be someone from the past trying to reconnect. And again, we were talking about that scale of yuckiness. Make sure they've really changed because the death card here in reverse is saying that they're not. And I feel like for those of you that it's someone from the past, eh, Again, you're going to have people telling you, no, 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 no. Why would you want to, why would you want to get back into that mess? Because you would be essentially going back to the same mess. It seems like even those of you that are dealing with someone from the past, there's someone new coming in. Any, again, it may be at the end of June after the 23rd, 21st, or it may be this summer. So why get stuck going back to someone who was yucky if, uh, there's going to be this new person coming in again. Wait, the wait will be over. Um, now some of you, there may be some adjustments in, uh, like you may have to go back to the drawing board in where you want the relationship to go. I'm seeing just relationship talks, but again, a wonderful new beginning. So yeah, you may be having a significant talk in June about, you know, do you want to get married? Because I don't. Or do you want to have children? Because I don't. Or um, do you want to just live together? Or, you know, or do you want to date exclusively? You know, it can be any sort of talk where you're trying to solidify a relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. This could be in a business sense. It could be a business partnership or, you know, do you want to invest or do you want to hire me <laughs> or, uh, you know, do you want to work for me? Uh, but I feel like for many of you, it is emotional because of this page of cups and because of these runes that are, are, uh, I don't have any business runes on the table. So it's kind of like a no news is good news situation. Uh, you know, it just seems like if finance is not a priority, then, you know, 
it's not a priority. It's, it's, it's okay. So just look at it that way. I want to watch again your rising sign. That might have more financial news. It's just kind of a, it depends on from month to month what they want to talk about Libra, but it seems like emotional things, love, relationships are on the, literally on the table here for the month of June for you. So, but a beautiful outcome. If you can get up the courage to, to ask someone to marry you or, you know, say what you want. Um, I feel like you're going to get some excellent news by the end of June. And many of you, it's like, you're going to give birth in June. You may be having a little, what would that be? Cancer baby, uh, Gemini or cancer baby in June. Um, or you may find out that you're pregnant and have been since May. Cause again, that was the present energy coming in, but that's what I see for June Libra. Oh, and it looks like a very beautiful month. Just don't listen to the naysayers and block anyone raining on your parade. Meet me over on Vimeo now. I'm going to do part two of this reading. I want to focus on this person who may be trying to cause trouble and see what uh, the animal messages, uh, which animal is going to help you in the month of June with that. So meet me over there and I'll see you back here next month. Thanks for watching.